First up today, actor Meinhardt Robbie was the last living munchkin from The Wizard of Oz. He played the munchkin coroner who declared the death of the Wicked Witch of the East. That was an important job. It was. In that movie. It was. The witch is dead. That was a reason to celebrate. <laughs> well, Robbie was born and raised in Jefferson County, and he'd been a longtime supporter of Bethesda. It's an organization in Watertown that helps people with developmental disabilities. And recently, Bethesda received a $1 million donation from his estate. Mm. This Saturday, they want to celebrate his legacy. That's so right. joining us now from Bethesda, we have Mike Thurdo and Jed Lapid. Good morning to both of you Hi guys. guys. Good morning, Molly. Good morning, Tiffany. How are you? Good. We're doing great. I mean, this is a reason for people locally to be proud. I mean, the movie mm -hmm. is so, I mean, to say it's iconic is like the understatement of the the, the century, right. probably. But I mean, what a, what a what a wonderful thing to celebrate. We're very excited. Very excited to support Mr. Robbie and his family and their generosity over the years. He was a great supporter of Bethesda. Mm -hmm. Somebody who really did great things in his life. Like you, he was a UW grad. Okay. He also was part of the Civil Air Patrol at one time. And with his his abilities and the things that he focused on, he wanted to support Bethesda and, the, and how we take care of people with abilities as well. How would you kind of describe within some of the, that language too, how would you describe his legacy and, and what you hope to people to know about him? Well, he was supremely generous. Uh, $3.5 million is what he actually ended up contributing in his lifetime and after his life. Was uh, that, to were, were those residuals or made off of Wizard of Oz stuff, do you know? I, pro quite assume. probably. Mm -hmm. uh, we assume that. Uh, we, we actually had no idea that we were going to receive a gift that large. Um, you know, his legacy is really evident in the people that we support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, that $3.5 million allows us to do a lot of things to help support that. And yeah, like what kinds of things do you do for people with developmental disabilities? What do you do at Bethesda? Sure, we primarily provide residential supports to people here in the mm -hmm. Milwaukee area, across the U.S. We're in 14 states, so literally support thousands of people, but we're headquartered in Watertown. We also provide employment opportunities and also transportation for people. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. What's going to be going on at the event and, and everything they have going on? Hot air balloon rides, tethers. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you guys do that, no, right? you have to. Who doesn't want to do that? <laughs> Rainbows, That's yellow great. brick road, Toto, where everybody's dressing up for this as well. It's going to be a big uh, costume party as well. So a great way to go out there and celebrate his legacy. It's wonderful. Do you know any people who, who knew him? I don't know if you knew him during his lifetime, but what do people say about about him mm -hmm. and his role in The Wizard of Oz? I don't even know enough. Uh, I don't know if he went on to be in other movies as well. Um, but, I mean, he certainly had a pivotal yeah. role in, in The Wizard sure. of Oz. I know a little bit. He was in business before he actually applied for the interviews out at MGM at that time. Flew out to California, did the interviews. After the movie was done, he came back to Wisconsin, worked for Oscar Mayer hmm. for 30 years. Wow. He drove the Wienermobile. <laughs> That's awesome. We've had the Wienermobile here, here before. Really? Yeah, right in our parking lot. <laughs> Excellent. It's he, true. He did that for 30 years, and the rest of his life he committed to business and philanthropy and and being from the Wisconsin Watertown area, he's always had a, a special place in his heart for us. So mm -hmm. we're just very grateful for that. That is wonderful. I think it's neat he does that. You know, a lot of people who, who've seen reality shows on, on little people, they know that there's a lot of physical challenges that come with being little and, and the, the structure and growth of your body. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine why people with developmental disabilities or physical disabilities with something close to his heart. What kind of people do you generally serve? Well, we do serve people with uh, significant, but also uh, intellectual and developmental disabilities. Uh, my heart felt very close to our mission because during his lifetime, he felt very much discriminated against. Yeah. Uh, he actually, there's a story about how he had actually applied for a job in the accounting field. Mm. And actually somebody said, why don't you go back to the carnival? Oh, and, no way. You know, just based on his own abilities and his appearance was largely discriminated against. So he mm -hmm. felt so strongly about that, he really decided to support Bethesda in a, in a very large way. I think yeah. that's yeah. wonderful. For him. And one of the things you touched on, too, is that your mission, you know, while you do so much locally, really spans across the United mm -hmm. States. Yes, yes we do. We literally support thousands of people in 14 states, and we're growing continuously. And our, our mission is really to, to reach out to people, support people, just like Jed said, people of all abilities, to help them achieve what they want to achieve in their life. Mm -hmm. And that's really our focus and our mission. It's wonderful. So when people come out, does it cost anything? Or is it, is it a celebration to show up to a festival? It's a celebration. There's mm -hmm. a, a nominal fee to get in, just a few dollars. Yep. But it's really to support the people. That money will go to Bethesda to support the people with disabilities. So wonderful. it's really an opportunity to celebrate everybody there. 
That's great. great. And you mentioned the, the balloon rides. So here's how it's going to work. It's this Saturday, September 12th at 530. It's appropriately titled There's No Place Like Home. And here's what's going on. There's a picnic from 530 to 730. Then the tethered balloon rides from 530 until 7. A scavenger hunt that goes from 6 to 7. Then a costume contest judging that starts at 7. And a 730 showing of the original Wizard of Oz movie. What a great day and evening that you have planned. It's at Camp Matt which is located on Hoffman Drive in Watertown. And people can visit your website to find out more. It's BethesdaLutheranCommunities.org to get more information. It's kind of small on our screen, but that's mm -hmm. the website to visit for more. Thanks, gentlemen. There's, there's no place like Bethesda. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Great to meet both of you. Nice Thank you so you much. much. It was yeah. a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks you guys. So much. Appreciate it so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, so nice to meet you. And